I'm Lisa and I'm in Paris and I'm gonna go in a couple of minutes to see the Daniel R. Sham exhibition at Perrotin. Hey, I'm Andre. My favorite piece, I think, it's uh, the one over there. It's a woman with a uh, raise her hand like that. The colors and uh, the attitude, maybe. I heard the first time about uh, him. It was with his collaboration with Dior, with Kim Jones. Hey, my name is Vital. I found out about Daniel Arshim a while back actually. My friend kept talking about him and went on from there. I kept following on Instagram, kept seeing the stuff that he did. Really interested in what he did, especially like other quirky stuff besides all of this. Like I used to see the car work he did because he's really into Porsches as well. From the show itself, I really love all the pieces, but those ones, a few that Arshim specifically worked on. The one with the powder dye with a pink splash on the side that was beautiful. Of course, the, the high top and the low top Jordan ones that Tebow designed at Dior. Shout out to Tebow. You know, Kim Jones' work is magic on the collections, getting Arsha, Matthew Williams, and Stussy even on projects like this. So it's just beautiful seeing all this happen at the same time. One favorite would definitely be that one right there. I just, love, I just love the color of this. It's not a bright color, but it does stand out in a room. And the crystallization, the erosion is perfect. Plus, it's the biggest one in the room, so you have to. Hi, I'm Mathieu. I think my favorite piece in the show is the black sarcophagus over there because like that's really the way I want to be buried. You've got like so many crystals in it and I think it's very it's quite cool and also it's the only one that's like black so it really stands out in terms of colors. I think I first heard of Daniel Arsham from Pierrot in New York and he had like maybe this huge um, futuristic core with like the doors that open, so that was quite cool. I'm Sasha Herman, I'm Claire Chaffin, and this is our favorite piece of the show. Our friend who owns a gallery in New York brought us here tonight, and we love it. Je m'appelle Théo Sepa, je suis photographe plasticien et fan d'art. Cette expo de Daniel Archam est super importante pour moi car c'est un artiste que j'admire beaucoup, que je suis depuis que j'ai 13 ans, donc au final ça fait un bout de temps, moi qui en ai 20 maintenant, ça fait un bout de temps. C'est vraiment magnifique ce qu'il a réussi à faire. Son concept de prendre le temps et de figer pour créer des œuvres futures, mais aussi du coup apprendre l'esthétique romaine, l'esthétique grecque, en faire vraiment quelque chose à la sauce moderne qui va rester vraiment définitivement dans le temps. Je trouve magnifique, euh, par exemple, le costume que Daniel portait, son costume bleu vert, qui est un, un de Dior euh, qui est vraiment très réussi. J'ai euh, le bleu Daniel, et euh, voilà, j'espère le faire signer. On verra. Ces pièces-là, euh, qui sont des pièces euh, d'art, sont venues compléter la collaboration. Et c'est des pièces qui seront à la vente euh, à partir euh, de, du mars, printemps, mars-avril en fait, et, euh, dans, des, dans, des éditions, mmh. euh, dans des éditions limitées. Et je pense que ce serait une exclusivité chez nous sur les champs d'Elysée. The exhibition was really amazing. The fact that Daniel Arsham used mold from Deleuze's iconic sculpture just takes it to another level. The opening happening during Men's Fashion Week with the Dior and Arsham pop-up store at Perrotin. Also seeing the Dior Jordan Lowe during the opening is just extra cool. So I brought with me the can from his Selfridges pop-up store in London and I was lucky enough to have a quick chat with him and get him to sign the can. 
If you missed the pop-up store in London, I will link down below the video I made about it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!